Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Who can vote in Gaines, Texas? In Gaines, Texas, the right to vote is not merely a privilege, but a fundamental aspect of democracy. Understanding who can exercise this right involves navigating through several eligibility criteria set forth by both state and federal laws. This ensures that the electoral process remains fair and representative of the community's will. First and foremost, to vote in Gaines, Texas, an individual must be a citizen of the United States. This criterion underscores the principle that voting is a right reserved for those with legal citizenship, reflecting their stake in the country's democratic processes. Moreover, residency requirements play a critical role. Voters must be residents of Texas and, more specifically, of Gaines County. This requirement ensures that individuals have a direct connection to the community and its issues, making their vote an informed and relevant contribution to local governance. Age is another key factor. Eligible voters in Gaines, Texas, must be at least 18 years old on Election Day. This age threshold signifies the transition into legal adulthood, where individuals are considered capable of making informed decisions about their governance. Additionally, registration is a prerequisite for voting. Potential voters must be registered in Gaines County. This process involves providing verifiable personal information to ensure the integrity of the electoral roll and prevent fraudulent voting. It is also important to note that certain legal disqualifications can affect an individual's right to vote. For instance, individuals convicted of a felony may have their voting rights suspended until they have fully discharged their sentence, including any parole, probation, or restitution. Understanding these criteria is crucial for ensuring that all eligible individuals in Gaines, Texas, can participate in the democratic process. The right to vote empowers citizens to shape their governance and hold elected officials accountable. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.